In the YouTube algorithm, the people are represented by three separate yet equally important groups. The one that creates, the one that views, and the one that just can't help but react. Under Title 17, I am a member of an elite squad, also known as the Special Viewers Unit. These, are the archives. I have no makeup on today, baby. I just washed my face, cleaned up, got ready. Hello, A+. I'm here, I'm here. Can you guys see me? Hello, Lyric. Assalamu alaikum. Clickbait title. No, it's not clickbait. You'll see. Hi, baby mama, Gemini Jam, Pink Fish, A+, plus. Coconut Water Fast has not begun. Midnight Munchies, Little Wackadoodle, Golden Girl, Aisha, hello, Salam alaikum, Anna, my love, love you, I'm sorry for missing all of your lives. No worries. I know when there's no drama, it's boring, right? <laughs> Tracy, Loki, you guys are just a Loki or Loki. You guys are just used to drama, but you'll get used to no drama, little drama. We're gonna go with drama that doesn't hurt anybody. <laughs> Veronica Lodge, hello, golden girl. Just started for you, Lulu. It's over living in the villa. No. Um, hello. Oh, my ears itchy. The crystal, lots of packing. These are just assemble boxes, yeah, some, I, I'm gonna, like, give the leftover boxes for people when they take stuff if they need a box. Hello, Trixie! Hi, Golden Girl! It is cold today here, too, I think. Hi, Dream! <laughs> Free said you call me bruv. What? Bruv. I'm gonna call you bruv. I swear to God, I've just been so busy. I'm not here for the drama, I know. Well, I'm just gonna open the, the window. Oh, by the way, this chair is up for grabs. I know it's seen better days, but... <laughs> Tiffany! You're home from the Motel 6? And how would you rate your Motel 6 experience from 1 to 10? <laughs> I'm going to be Motel 6 beezing in, in a little while. I swear, we're going to do an exam, and for every gross thing I find... Hello, Sala, King Beezer. Oh, I need to take my puffer. My chest is so tight when I don't... Oh, I forgot to take my puffer yesterday. Um, I need to take my steroid inhaler every day. Tiny lasagna, welcome to very important Marjorie. <laughs> you had a bonfire yesterday with the boys? Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, this chair has been abused. This chair I've had since, like, I lived in birthday alarms, like in Cornwall, I think. <laughs> it's only supposed to hold to like 200 pounds. You want that kitchen thingy? Thank you, A+. Plus. Hello, Sriracha. No, I don't think it's clogs. It's, uh... I can tell when I don't take my inhaler. No, Pete's sleeping. Not the chair you sit on with no drawers on. <laughs> no, I do! <laughs> can we get a drawing of what the hair growth looks like? I guess I could draw myself to show you guys. Um, it's actually growing quite a bit. <laughs> you want the back scratcher? I have stuff to talk about. You guys are distracting me. No, I'm kidding. Ugh. I'm not burned. I just look it. Like, with no makeup, I look like I'm freaking... So, this is what I look like when I just wake up. No, I woke up, like, a couple hours ago. Stayed in bed. <clears throat> You're playing Rocket TV, Daddy VRV, with Bioni Catman. Watch for fears, me get her baby Gary Dashan. The top is growing. Um, there's still some hair loss, but you know, I think it's gonna be fixable if I really get. Hi, Dan Beezers. <laughs> I used to have the Play-Doh salon. 
FFG, I don't think. Oh no, not FFG. Are you talking about? I heard. I read Flop Era. It's like Flop Era. Hi, Mary Poppins. I'm like Flop Era is not block. So cute. <laughs> I don't know if I remember the other song, babe. Ashika Ashmahani, Sadani Wiramani, Walajani, you. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to learn Arabic. So there's like Arabic lessons I'm going to try to take. Like, you know, um, whenever I took my Shahada, they gave me resources to take like free lessons for Arabic. So I'll probably do that when I go back to Kuwait, inshallah. All right, so let me just say here, hi, Cynthia. I'm drinking my three and one. Did you see just using as a record for assaulting an old lady? No, the heck. <coughs> okay. So I have some things I want to talk about. I wrote them down because, you know, I, I thought I would have some topics I wanted to talk about. Just little things. So. Happy birthday in Arabic. Oh, yeah. Babe will teach me. Babe, how's the kanafa, by the way? I'm so jealous. Kanafa with three in one. You have to make a three in one. I think I left a whole pack. Did I leave a whole bag of three in one there? You have to make three in one for you and Murad with the kanafa. <laughs> ah. Yes. So, okay. Um, yeah. You're probably wondering, like, what does King Beezer do while you're gone all day? Actually, we keep in touch. Like, we don't go more than, like, not even a whole hour without talking to each other. Maybe not even a half an hour. Right, babe? And he spends most of his time working on his business, playing games with, with Murad and hanging out with Murad. And you know what? That for me is so much better than having a guy running around. You're not sure where they are. They're not returning your text. You know, I don't know. And it helps that they're in a country where, like, <laughs> men and women socialize separately. Murad Van Olivia. Aisha, Aisha. <laughs> Happy birthday. Kol am wenta beker. Kol am wenta beker. Kol am wenta beker. Kol am wenta beker. Beker? No. The KH is ch. Beker. Right? <laughs> With the whole song. Picking up. Ew. Yeah, Trixie, no. Super socializing doesn't stop cheating any more than a wedding ring does. Well, I'm sure it helps. No? Boo, get off the stage. Oh, he's sweet as angels of the 10th and 11th. If you could stop, um, if you could stop harassing me in the middle of the night with your dementia, your senile dementia, that would be great. She freaks out. She gets confused about where she is. It's sad. We don't go an hour without talking to each other, no. No. Pretty much no. I mean, if I'm live, well, you know, but he's in here supporting me. So, um, this, you're probably wondering what the title is, so I'll just tell you. BBJ! Here's your fresh breakfast. Here. Try to eat it and there's water in there too. She seems to be really like not being, I have to bring that up to the vet. I'm bringing her in a couple days. So, <clears throat> it's over. It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. This is not drama. Well, this is, I'm trying to put an end to this part of drama, okay? When I say it's over, I'm talking about my past. I'm talking about with chef shit, sorry for my language, with chef crap, because Ramadan's coming and I will not be swearing. I will not be. I will do good by the Lord, by God. Do not you worry. Do not worry. But it's over. So, like, if I'm not live 
for like like normally usual like maybe what like 10 hours I go don't go live for in a row and I realize you miss me I realize rea reaction channels they miss me they cannot go without seeing my face but if I'm not live for like if I go if I have a life for god forbid beyond the internet they think I'm with my abuser my ex-abuser can you tell me how it's beneficial just to keep it's like I swear people are stuck in the past I swear I understand that like I think it's like um I think it's like people cannot move on they cannot accept the fact that this is this is done with this is over with and hearing about it and being accused kind of re-triggering honestly a bit like I like I am in disbelief I'm married to a whole other person I'm married I'm happy I have not any like so what he's showing old messages get him to show recent ones um so what he's rehashing poems that were brought up a long time ago when things were different <laughs> like does this sound like a poem you would write to an abuser? Yes. At one point, yes. Does it like, <laughs> you know, um, just because at one point I showed some affection doesn't mean that it negates everything that happened. And for people to think and accuse me of being with this disgusting person who treated me like crap on earth, um, that I'm with them anytime I'm not online is just really, really, really... Yeah, thirsty for views or, um, it, it's just, it's, to me it's immoral, like, stir, making up, um, <laughs> okay, tell has a regely, regely, tell has a regely, the coming feet, um, people are so messed up to read that thing, it's funny. Like, have people, I don't, I think, honestly, people, there are a lot of people who don't understand how somebody would stay with someone like that. It's called trauma bonding. Like, when, like, it's such, so common for somebody to stay with a narcissist, like, being emotionally uh, manipulated, abused, whatever. I'm not saying I'm an angel, but do I think I deserve that? No. Do I think any woman that comes in contact with him deserves anything? No. Even doo-doo. Or whatever. Whatever. So, I mean, really, I, I, I'm at a loss for words that people are still, um, oh, hi, Mishy Moo, thank you. Aisha, I saw your comment. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you make me laugh. <clears throat> FFG called her supposedly abusive partner hot. Yeah, she did. So, like, people, exactly. So, like, people should understand that it's not that easy um, to leave somebody you have that connection with. Is it a toxic connection? Yeah. It's not love. But I realize that now. And now that I realize that and I'm out of it and I'm happily married a year or more later, people, um, they just want that to happen for content. Dream, you, I think you nailed what I meant to say. You're right. I think people are wishful like really if you're somebody who's like accusing me of that it's almost like you're wishful that I will like just um that this will happen and I can assure you that's never gonna happen never ever ever I would rather not be here on this planet I would rather not because that's what my life felt like like pure hell so um yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. So it's over. So I wish that people would online would treat that the same way, you know? Oh, where are they? I meant to block them, I think. <clears throat> it always brings out somebody, you know? So that's it. Um, you still have your car, no arrest, no trial, no eviction. What? And she also bragged about being abused to him. What? I'm glad I don't 
pay attention to what's really going on other than like seeing thumbnails and stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, Golden Girl. Still searching for boyfriends so that your ugly face for viewers. I heard, I heard that, like, you know the live stream she did with, um, Shannon when I was in Cornwall? I still can't believe she actually, on Valentine's Day, spent it with Shannon in my hometown. <clears throat> and then had the nerve on that live stream to be like, just so you know, my man is taking me out for dinner. <laughs> If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Did anyone else hear that? So she's verbally confirming her lie that she has a man. Whenever somebody has a... There's no evidence of this man, okay? So if you have a boyfriend, the minute I start bringing up um, FFG, people start bringing up BBJ. Um, hi, Sandra. No, I know, Mary, but it's just like, if you have a man, you usually some kind of hint of it, you know what I mean? Like, um, I don't know, even just mentioning, oh, my man did this or this, like, like everybody, if you have a man, you have some, some evidence of it, of them being real. There's like none. <clears throat> no one believes him. Yeah. <laughs> Baby. So anyways, that's all I wanted to say about that. It's, it's like. I just realized that it's like, are you serious? Like people are actually thinking just because I'm not online that, okay, I'm going to put on my, and like somebody was even like, she's wearing Gatineau glitter. No, I wasn't. I wasn't wearing it. So, I mean, people just make up things. So I'm just basically, um, just, if you don't, just don't listen to anything these people say. And that's it, you know, like, it's just stupid, <laughs> beyond, beyond belief. I mean, like I said, when I'm not online, I talk to Sala all the time. Like, he even stays up, um, <clears throat> stays up to, like, switch his sleep um, schedule just for me. It's either Natter or BBJ, yeah. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> because the ring of the queen and server because you deserve nothing as a face. Dirty voice owner! <laughs> Babe. <laughs> Dirty voice owner, stop it. Oh my god. Anyways. If you're not online, ain't none of our business what you're doing. Thank you, Laganja. Um, at the same time, I'm not like villainizing people for being interested, but like people with me just take it to a different level. You know, it's like they've gotten accustomed to being so invasive with me. Um, three in one, I don't know. It's like creamer, sugar, and coffee all in one. The ultimate lazy person's dream. <laughs> Help your wife stop talking about it. Um, Elizabeth, no, I, I think I have been, like, pretty good. I just, I, I really don't. Like, I don't enjoy it. I just wanted to get that out there. Think of it as a PSA. Um, maybe try not to re-trigger people who were uh, victims of abuse by accusing them of constantly being with their abuser. How about that? That might, that might be a good start. <laughs> to make you better people, okay? <laughs> Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Cretinish smile. Thanks for the cake. I can show you some. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, whoever has a birthday. So, I just wanted to say that. Um, like I said, just if any of you are in doubt, I would rather not be here than be with someone like that ever again. So, shouldn't have to tell anyone anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just, I don't know if people are just trying to accuse me just to trigger me to rage. Like, I don't know. It's so strange when people get excited over me being upset. So another thing is I find it disrespectful also that people, um, if you're going to show videos of me 
or if you're going to like show images of me on your thumbnails, why make it a non hijabi picture? Like I have so many images that are hijabi that I just find it disrespectful when people use images of me and I know they're never going to fully disappear from the internet. But if you're using images of me, I have to at least ask politely that you use hijabi pictures. Um, I know some people will probably not, that's fine, but at least I'm asking, so. There's wisdom in Aram, says the dog howl in the caravan was on. It's, I mean, we don't care about these nuts, they are stupid to give them attention. The dogs howl in the caravan moves on. <laughs> what would we have in our caravan? Pickles. They use non hijabi photos to insult you, childish, disrespectful. Exactly. So that's all I wanted to say. You can rest assured if I'm offline, I'm tending to my life, my husband. Pickles, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Um why did I ask people to harass a care home? No, I asked why am I even answering this? Why are you bringing up things I did a year ago, intoxicated and abused? Can you answer that? Then I'll answer you. <laughs> like, I had an emotional breakdown. Um, I found out that the person, well, I assumed, yeah, what I just, if you just went through what I went through that weekend before, maybe you would understand. Here come the trolls, yeah. Okay, so um, that's about all I'm going to say about that. For cooking, darling. I just felt like setting the cake. Oh, Cretan, your smile. Yeah, it is cute. What's over? <laughs> Flopera, why are you late today? You're never late. Anything to do with Nad Turd is done. So that's what's over. It's been over. I've been over it for how long now? Well, pretty much since meeting Sala. Thank you, baby. <laughs> no, even before that a bit. But yeah, it's not over for people who, I swear, like whenever I was with this person, a whole community developed. Address that you were late today. <laughs> <laughs> You're starting to learn his language. <laughs> Flop arrow language. I, hi, Krista. Strawberry cake, yummy. Strawberry cake, let's make one. I want to make a strawberry cake and celebrate going home. <laughs> I don't, I, I think these people, this reaction community just made this entire, like, okay, we have to go discuss their relationship. This is where, you know, making up, they need to make up this narrative of us for drama and views and it's just not true it just doesn't exist at all beyond your own beyond your own community like it's not true at all none of it um so like all right <clears throat> so on the happy note <laughs> no one is perfect yeah no one is perfect except you <laughs> Uh, whenever I met, saw you on video today, Salah, I, I really miss Kuwait, and I miss you. I miss you guys. So, um, but yeah, uh, Okay, so, <laughs> I, yeah, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of boxes. I'm still working on my environment. I'm still working on moving. I'm just still working, like, on getting my life organized. I just you being late today. <laughs> Red face. Leaving my villa song. Um, I'm 
I don't know. I'm not inspired at all. We really not go an hour without talking to each other. Well, yeah, of course. Why not? Obviously. <laughs> Monica, hi! How are you? I miss you. I hope you're well. Krista, I hate moving too. I honestly, I can't. I don't want to do it anymore. This is why I'm so happy to get rid of all my things. I'm so happy to get rid of all my things and just be free to live out of a suitcase. Because I just want to travel, be with my mans, and uh, that's about it. Well, I mean, I, I mean, I have a home in Kuwait, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> I mean, like, yeah, all of the apartment stuff, like, I don't have to worry about, I don't, I just feel more free, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Has he lifted a finger yet? A little bit, actually. Uh, he's he's done those boxes, assembled the boxes. Because you have to assemble them all, the banker's boxes. Costa Rica. I don't know about that. Why? I stay on FaceTime with H while I'm doing stuff around the house, and he's driving to his next visits at work. It's hard being far from each other. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, I don't know. Exactly. We just kind of, like, stay in touch. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know what you mean. A Villa Tribute video. <laughs> no. When am I moving out? The end of the month, T-Bone. Hot sauce. Hello. I'm always here. I just don't talk all the time. Let newer members talk. Yeah. Well, that's okay. At least you say hi once in a while. <laughs> more and more reactors are popping up. They see the cash and in the end they are taking away your views depending on what you decide on the 22nd. It will determine what direction your channel will go. What's happening on the 22nd? I don't understand. Is there like some kind of like major event that I should be aware of, VI Peasant or something? I don't understand. <clears throat> Look what's happening on the 22nd. <laughs> I don't know hot sauce. BBJ's vet visit. So people are waiting to see if I what euthanize my cat, which is none of their business. Like are you serious? Didn't FFG euthanize her dog? Answer that, yes or no. Did FFG euthanize her two dogs? Why? Why did she euthanize her dogs? Hi, Ariel. Nobody has a right to tell me I'm bringing her... Oh, I'll recover. Don't worry. I'm bringing my cat to the vet... And if the vet tells me she should be put down, I'm going to euthanize my cat. And there's nothing, like there should be no qualms about it. It's a thing. Why are you villainizing when the vet would say, like, really? So she did euthanize her dogs. So why is she not getting the same energy that I get with my cat? When you didn't see how she took care of her pets at all. Y'all are actually so if you think BBJ isn't alive. <laughs> Go ahead, Ariel. Goodbye. Thanks, baby. Um, you think her dogs were sick and stopped eating. You think. So you don't know, right? You don't know. You think. You think. So her second dog was put down. Why? I heard it was for anxiety. So if anybody supports FFG, but over there and is villainizing me in Gorgold for putting my sick cat, elderly cat down, if it needs to happen, can shove it and you can unsubscribe. I don't care. <laughs> like, really, I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm taking responsibility for my pets and that's it. I'm not just bringing them to the Humane Society and I'm not just going to give her away to somebody 
when it's not appropriate. I know. Sella is dreamy, yes. You should surprise Chantal with a welcome, warm welcome with flowers, battery candles. <laughs> Why battery candles? A welcome home banner and her favorite foods. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> what's the plan if bbj is good to rehome well then i will rehome her <laughs> like i already said many times that i know somebody in the family who was going to take care of the cats one like they have to go to different homes but i don't know yet i don't know i don't even like to talk about it with people like because this is the thing it's not anyone's business like if she has to get put down. I live with her every day. I hear her deteriorating. I hear her freaking out in the middle of the night. I see her stumbling around. I see her like not acting the same. So I have to bring all these things up to the vet and we'll see. But um, yeah, Pe so many people are worried about my pet. Get your own cat to worry about. Like, I don't understand it. Like literally, again, if you are supporting FFG who put who euthanized her pets, you have nothing to say about my pets being euthanized. BBJ is literally 21. She is very old. She like she's definitely not the same as she was. So they're going to evaluate her quality of life. What kind of quality of life does she have? What kind of quality of life is she going to have? Um, you know, like is is there medically wrong things wrong with her that, you know, that would be passed on to someone else. Like there's a lot of things to consider. You're acting like I'm just, people are villainizing me. Like I'm just like, okay, BBJ, I want to get rid of you. That's not what's happening because if that's what was happening, I would have taken her a lot sooner to get put down, wouldn't I? No. So there you go. Yeah, I mean, so if you are okay with her euthanizing her dog, then, you know, you see BBJ for like five minutes. <laughs> like, seriously. VI peasant, yes, people are supporting her, accusing me of being a bad pet owner for euthanizing my pets. That's what I'm saying. But they'll support her when she did the same thing. Hello, Anna Nicole. So that's what my point is. So it's not talking about my about her uh, dogs. It's her showing her that she's. It's showing that she's a hypocrite, and her audience is a hypocrite. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so if that's what people are waiting for, the twenty second, then just leave now because it's not up to you. It's not up to you if you're like only here dependent on like number one I'm doing nothing wrong so you're villainizing me for something that's not even immoral like why are you even upset that I'm doing something that is good for BBJ like I don't understand people are so whacked because you don't want to leave candles lit when he goes to pick it up from the airport oh you thought of everything Mary Poppins <laughs> yes yeah, Monica, I know. But I'm just saying, like, it's just people are so crazy. It's true. I wouldn't want my pets to suffer either. Yeah, like, I don't know. That's just my view on it. Absolutely. So. I'm not. Okay, Judy. Goodbye. Discarding them like they're trash. Is that what I'm doing? No. So this is why people who accuse me of that can be blocked. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm not going to let her suffer. Like, even when I called the vet to make the appointment, they're like, oh my gosh, she's so old, you know? And that, yeah, being old doesn't automatically mean that, you, yeah, she has, she definitely has health problems. I can tell just by like how she was before. And I'm not talking about BBJ at all. I might let people know what happens to her, but after that, if you shame me for my decisions, I will just block you and ignore you. Like, I am just completely over researching what people are saying about me. Who cares? You know? Anything. This is not even about the cats. Nobody gives a shit about BBJ. Nobody gives a crap about the cats. 
It's all about drama for more views because you have nothing else to talk about. Big Toe, welcome to Very Important Bees. Where do you set bees? Thanks for your money. Bye. <laughs> don't give them the pleasure about speaking about the cats. Yeah, I don't even know if I think you know what. I'm just not going to let people know what happens. Even Beezers. You know what? If you're a real Beezer, just accept. Yeah, babe, like, you're not going to know. You're never going to know if BBJ got euthanized or if she gets put in a home. So, you know what? If this possibility hurts your feelings, then leave now. Unsubscribe. Bye. Thank you. Hi, Jack. <laughs> yeah. It's not your decision. All right. Thank you. Well, then, by that token, FFG is a murderer, too, because she murdered her dogs then. Because she euthanized her dogs, and I didn't even do anything yet. So, FFG is a dog murderer. By that logic, by your logic, the person who sent that super chat, FFG is a murderer because she euthanized her dogs. Are you brainless? Yeah, you are. But most of her followers are. <laughs> just ignore these stupid people. I know, they're just ridiculous. Like, do you have no life? You're just waiting around for me to talk? Open the subject? And then they all come out of the wildfire like freaking cockroaches. Keeping it off the internet is best. Exactly. So if you ask me about BBJ, I will just block you from now on, period. Even after the 22nd, I don't care. Think what you want. If you want to think BBJ is in a sweet valley somewhere, whatever. It's not your cat. It's not your business. FFG dog murderer. Yep, yeah, you, you, you murdered your dogs, FFG. You murdered your dogs. You're one dog, you euthanized, murder, according to your fans who say that I'm a murderer because I'm gonna because I might possibly euthanize BBJ. So you're a dog murderer, too, on your name. There you go. Personally, whatever. I don't care if she euthanized her dogs. That's her decision as a pet owner. If she had reason to do it, fine. But by that logic, by that logic of her own audience and her own fans who are villainizing me for the same thing your cult leader is a, a dog killer she euthanized both of her dogs so what so there you go all right so <laughs> are you feeling very attacked no i'm making a point no it won't won't be deleted for what i'm not bullying anybody i'm actually just being logical no, Stan can speak Arabic, but you and Mama not. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, so. It's, it's hypocritical for her to come for you about a frail elderly cat. Exactly. When she's not a vet and she also euthanized her animals for a lot less. I think one was sick and the other one was grieving. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, dog murderer. Hey, I'm just doing what people do to me, right? So there you go. Hello, Diego. So on that, you're so strong. Well, I don't have a choice. <laughs> it's that or lay down and die, you know, Elizabeth, but thank you. Pets age and die. It sucks, but it's life, Jamie. And people literally euthanize their pets all the time, including FFG. So how is it wrong for me to look into this option as a responsible pet owner, um, having to leave the country and, and doing what's best for my 20-year-old elderly, senile, sick cat? It's none of your business. Hi, PNV. Right, exactly, babe. If they think that I'm a cat murderer and I haven't even put down BBJ, Stan, and she euthanized her dogs, so how is she any better? How is How are you not turning that same energy on her? Oh, and th the same energy with the fake marriage. My husband is material in front of you and most of my, uh, we have a whole channel together. <laughs> We're married. Um, he's in my chat right now. But where's your man on Valentine's Day even showing a supportive, hey babe, nothing, nothing. 
Nothing. You're a sad wannabe, and that's all you will ever be. Hi, Freya. Okay, so, because you're so smug about it. So smug about what? Being, defending myself? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, mm, I should, I guess, I guess you're going to hate me forever then, Ari, because that's how I am. Um, if people, if people are wrong and I point it out, like, why does that, why do you hate me for it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Because you guys don't like the truth. So you accuse me of being a liar. You deflect. Uh-huh. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she apparently euthanized her second pet. I heard allegedly for grieving. So please tell me why it's okay for FFG to put down her grieve grieving pet. But it's not okay for me if the vet says to put down... Um, to stop her suffering from being elderly, from being, you know what I mean? Like why um, she might have kidney problems, who knows? Don't tell anyone anything, whatever your decision will be. Exactly, exactly. Bye Ari, see you. Go back to licking butt over there, couldn't be me. Hi, Vicky. I don't know how people sim for a clear hypocrite. Like, ah, ha, will be there. Ah, ha, ha, her marriage is fake. <laughs> her boyfriend don't love her. Where's your boyfriend? Like, wouldn't you, wouldn't her audience think, like, do they not have a brain to think? Um, but you've been saying you have a man for how many years? Or for how long now? And we've never even seen a trace of evidence that this person exists. But I'm expected to materialize so much proof when it comes to proving myself to you people and it's not going to happen so you can just stay mad stay mad actually yeah no we're not going to prove anything right babe we're not going to show them any certificates ffg have no boyfriend at all nobody will even look her ugly face <laughs> yeah beyond that babe beyond that she's just a horrible person she's a liar she's a compulsive liar and it's so weird that her She's managed to brainwash so many people into believing her lies, like, that she accuses uh, the Beezers of being brainwashed. Like, what? I've proven how many times and time again to be right and that you're wrong. Like, oh, I'll never go to Kuwait? Okay. Been there, done that. Not married? Been there, done that. Oh, speaking of which, I found a TikTok. Um, when I'm depressed, sometimes I like to go, or just a bit insecure about, like, just like, I don't know, just whatever, you know, just feeling crappy. I like to go on TikTok and find, um, they follow and cheer FFG because their streams are the way they are channeling their hate for Chantal. The moment they cannot use her, they will come after her. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. Like, they don't like these people. They just hate me. So it's like they have somewhere to congregate and circle jerk and hate on me. It's so weird. And then they have the nerve to be like, we want to do a psychological study on you. How about you do that on yourselves? <laughs> You're the ones with the problem. Seriously, the minute, like, you don't think it's a little weird? Like, I, for me, you can call me all, you can accuse me of being a bad person all you want and calling it an old age home or whatever, the Cuba rage over and over. You can keep bringing up Cuba rage, whatever. But at the end of the day, I'm not... A crappy person who has to go and rub somebody's ex abuse in their face for views. So, a child broomer? What? FFG and I have all filled with their own inner problems and unhappiness in life. Yeah. Well, yeah, for sure. Did you see that one weirdo who was on panel with uh, on Sarah Jane's panel? Like, hitting on Allah. She's like, Hi, <laughs> Chantel. <laughs> That's what all the haters are. That This woman that was on panel, all the haters behind the camera. That's why they don't go on camera. They're all weirdos. All right. So I go on TikTok and I <laughs> imagine being that thirsty. You go on panel and hit on a lot. Like what? I'm sorry, but... Hi, Amethyst. <laughs> Tracy, I can't. I can't believe, I can't believe these people. Q 
Cuba rage was whilst you were under consumption of a lot of alcohol and coming out of an abusive relationship while they congregate and hate daily in the middle of the day, completely sober. Jack, you're so smart. You're right. Exactly. Like, <laughs> you get it completely. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. Any bad, bad, bad rage I've ever done, I was really drunk. And that's not... Well, I mean, it is technically the excuse at the time, and it doesn't mean that I excuse my behavior, but people have nothing else to keep bringing up, and that's what's annoying. Like, you just keep rubbing in stuff, like, to make me look bad. I don't know why. <clears throat> New York Stiletto. It's not what you have to do with BBJ if she's sick. It's your lack of emotion or care that's sickening. How do you know I have lack of emotion, New York Stiletto? You don't know how I'm grieving. You can't... Why are you accusing somebody of grieving the way they do? Like, it doesn't make any sense. You can't tell someone how to act, how to act or how to react emotionally. Like, people have to act a certain way. Doesn't that encourage people to lie? So if she acted sad or you'd be okay? You don't know. Like, I'm the type of person, like, until it happens. Like, after it happens, then I start realizing. And then I start, you know... Like, I was sad for Sam, but then, you know, I moved on because he's okay. They have nothing else on you. That's why they have to live in the past. But the past is irrelevant. The past can't hurt me anymore. The past is gone. The past is done. The past is irrelevant. It, the past is over. This is why it's titled. It's over. It's over. I can't force people to move on and just, like, obviously people don't want to forget about stuff. But if somebody's trying to do better, why 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 would you want to just sit there and be a crap person and try to like make them regress? I don't understand that. Um what it was? If you cried, they would say it's fake, you can't win. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Oh, look at her fake tears. Like Misery loves company. Did you hear about Breezy's assault against an elderly person? No. Every single stream there is evidence on them reactors being horrid, evil, they hate and laugh and bully. While they have to go back months to find you in a negative light, they're so hypocritical. Yep, pretty much, Jack. You nailed it. Yes. It's true. Like, it's ridiculous. All these side characters are too much. <laughs> All these side characters are nothing, a lot of them. Does she assault tea and dust? Do you wear the hijab alone with your husband? No, I do not. <laughs> Tala likes my chicken hairs. I'm <laughs> kidding. His wife was beside him when he was hanging with that drunk lady and flirting with her. Love that for them. Yeah, can you imagine, like, this is one thing. I notice now and I'm like, how did I ever, how did I ever, how did I ever let like anyone in my past treat me like, I remember being with slimy men like this who would just completely disregard your, your emotional be well-being, how you feel like chef crap was like that. Anytime I would be even right beside him, I caught, I was right beside him and he didn't know I was sleeping. And I opened my eyes and he's sex chatting with another woman. And I caught him and he freaked out on me. That's what a narcissist does, by the way. And it reminded me whenever I saw him um, talking to that woman on panel, um, Allah talking to that woman, drunk woman, drunk woman on panel, flirting with her, like, come to Kuwait and blah, blah, blah. I was like, it reminded me of that. And I was like, ew, like Sala would never. So, <laughs> Chef Mess. <laughs> Don't call him a chef. Yeah. That's a kind of sexual assault he'd be doing to subject you to that. He just, he would always do that. Oh, yeah. He's the biggest manipulator. So, that's why. Um, oh, shoot. Sorry, guys. Makes me laugh that people pay actual money to say bad negative things about you. They are not smart. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know why people, like, honestly, 
I'm not a bad, I'm not a bad person. Like I'm not hard to get along with in real life. A lot of people really like me. So, hey, if you have a problem with me and you want to like, I mean, as long as it's not stupid things, like I had somebody like send me a huge message why they don't like me. And I just felt like sending a violin. It was all stuff that they, they it's all stuff they believed based on like rumors that are not even true. <laughs> Dumb things, you know. Thank goodness it's over and you're done forever. Exactly, exactly, Monica. And the, the fact that people still just want to try to bring drama about the whole situation and just make it a reality again. Like, what? My head is spinning. I'm in disbelief that people have this reaction. I thought that everybody unanimously, like I'm naive. I, I'm I'm naive in the in the in the way that I think I can influence how people think because I realize that I just can't. Like when it comes to um I think people are just blinded by hate when it comes to me and there's nothing I can do about it. Like I don't know. Diego, thank you for the is that a fox? Who's a Howie? Thank you. Volunteering would be great for me. I would go tomorrow if I could volunteer in like Syria or somewhere to help the people. I would help them ASAP. But I don't think Syria, they're letting people in unless you work for some kind of volunteer organization. I did look into it because I was like, maybe be, maybe my baby and I can go and like volunteer or something. I don't know. But I will do some things to help people for sure. Um, number one, I'm gonna giving away all my stuff. I could probably make a pretty penny, but I thought that it would be nice to be more charitable. Honestly, that's the major motivation behind giving away everything. Because it wouldn't be, you know, like there's a many you could do. I was thinking of doing like like Missy Moose suggested, like just giving people the box and five bucks, fill it up. But you know, like I just feel better. Just I got a lot of messages from people that were like, hey, you know, I was in a fire. I need some things. So like all of my major stuff is already accounted for. My bed, everything, like my bed and my desk is going to like a nice woman who um, lost a lot of her things. I can't remember how, but it, it was like a nice little, you know, sob story and no I'm kidding. <laughs> Why would they let Ella take advantage of a clearly intoxicated woman on their platform when they say they support each other so much? Yeah, and she was, the woman was up there calling me fat, like, hello. Like, you're on Sarah Jane's panel, and she's also overweight. So you're insulting every overweight woman. And I would rather be overweight, would rather be overweight. And the woman was like, I could never touch her. Honey, honey, I can promise you, if you were the last breathing creature on this planet, feelings mutual. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's not true, Sherry B. Do not euthanize a pet until they eat or drink. Because... Timbit was in the middle of eating. She had a healthy appetite when she dropped, keeled over, and we had to euthanize her. So actually, that's not always true. You have there's signs you should look for. It's common. It's the first thing they say to look out for for sure. But other things I read were like stumbling, loud crying in the night, stuff like that. Um I have a feeling she has kidney issues because the last time I took her and the vet did a uh, blood test on her, she had mild kidney problems, which they said was normal for an elderly cat. There was nothing that really they can do about it. Um, and whenever I had the pretty litter, the, the your, her urine would turn blue. So that was a while ago. You can volunteer with the kids at the mosque, kids area, hold babies and play. No way. Oh, that would be so lovely. Babe, I want to have a big barbecue with um, all the kids, okay? It's cold. <laughs> Can we not talk about BBJ? Yes. Whatever happens, she's going to be in good hands. She's either going to be in a better place or she's going to get a good home. And that's why she's still here. I'm taking her to the vet the 22nd to make sure that it's the best option for her. Hi, PNV. I see you. Yeah, Tracy. Hi, Tanya. 
all those things as well. I just had a lost a dog to bone cancer and had to look out for all these things. He passed in his sleep. Oh, I'm sorry, Jamie, for your loss. It's so sad. She's in the arms of the angels. Stop it, Stan. You guys do not have to worry about me, like, just discarding DBJ. Like, I've had this cat since 2004. She's, like, I, of course I'm sad. But at the same time, like, I don't know. I just... I don't know. I'll probably like cry when I'm by myself or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm also, she's had a really long, good life. Like we've been through a lot together. If I think about it, BBJ. <laughs> yes, we have. I remember picking her up from the shelter. Oh my God. I got her from a shelter. And yeah. Tracy is a peach. Welcome to very important bees. We're ready to hit bees. <laughs> okay, so I, she's older than the Iraq War. <laughs> Hi, Tracy's a peach. Welcome. Kiss her for us now. She's upstairs in my bedroom, I think. Yeah. Sweetest angels of the 10th and 12th degrees. I don't know where she is. I need a grilled cheese. <sighs> Excuse me. Poor BBJ. So yeah, I know I'm not bawling my eyes out and like, BBJ, BBJ. So maybe that's why I seem heartless, but it doesn't mean I'm heartless just because I'm not bawling my eyes out right now. Proof of life immediately. A lot of abuse victims and people with hard upbringings have trouble with emotions. We all process things differently. Big cr girls cry in the shower. So I was on TikTok and I seen, like, you know how they recommend things based on your past what you like browsing I follow a lot of revert couples um and there's this one girl she's like a bigger girl she's about my size well she's yeah she's pretty she's big maybe a bit smaller and she's not I don't think she's a revert or anything but she did marry a Turkish man and she moved abroad to be with the Turkish man and one of her pinned videos was like um when they say he only wants you to go to canada and it just made me feel a bit better it made me realize that like this is a stereotype accusation for every fat woman who finds real love like if you're fat they just people just think that you can never find that you're just so undesirable in any eyes <laughs> like guess what we can work out and the fat's gone. We're still the same person we were underneath that fat. Like it's just skin. It's just body. It's just, there's, if anything, just there's more to hug. Remember that those trolls, if you cried on camera for the cats, they would say that you were faking it. Trolls are never going to be satisfied. Exactly. Exactly. Pizza pepperoni. Salah's TikTok history. How to replace a hamster without your wife noticing. <laughs> Babe, did you air fry ha Howie? Did you put Howie in the kanafa? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Welcome, Tracy. We have two Tracys now. <laughs> I'm going to call Tracy Mama Tracy. I don't cry, but it doesn't mean I feel less. Just depends on the person. We are different. Yeah. I know you're thinking, well, you cried about uh, Nad Turd. I cried about what he was doing to me. Yeah, like he made me feel very emotionally unstable and now I'm in a better place. So, you know, I'm, I have a better grip on my emotions in a way. The only one I still have trouble with is anger. But I do feel cold hearted in certain ways. Like, I don't know, I like to bottle up. I don't like to feel too much emotion. It makes me feel weird. I don't know. Do you guys feel gross and like vulnerable when you feel too much emotion about something? Like, you're not going to let me make like... No, I'm not going to cry. You're not going to, you know what I mean? Women were so rude to me for being a fat guy. Not going to lie. Women were hella rude. Even bigger girls were like, nah, you're fat. I thought you were a woman, crispy buns. <laughs> it's hard to cry on antidepressants. <clears throat> yes. Is it really? Hmm. You don't need to defend yourself verbally. Everyone will see when whatever... Anyone predicted never happens. So 
Um, people are messaging me nonstop and like no, not just messaging, but notifications are going off. Um, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. Harry fried bees. Harry match poops. Kidney and thyroid diseases as well as diabetes and mellitus are also mellitus are also possible culprits in a failure to use the litter boxes. Yeah, she drinks a lot. Big toe, I'm making puts in for him, don't worry. You embrace your emotions? That's what you're supposed to do. Cynthia, I'm your favorite YouTuber. Oh, thanks. That means a lot. I look like Ghostface right now. Thank you. Crap belongs in prison. Yeah. When you're on antidepressants, you become numb. Speaking of which, come here. People want to see you. He used to cry every night for hours for years. Aww. I hope you found some healing, Sabrina. The only time I cry is out of age. I cry. Can't cry when I'm sad. Yeah, I don't cry. Oh, rage. Yeah, I, I've rage cried before. So yeah, these people on TikTok. I'm like, oh, wow. So like, I'm not the only person who gets accused of my husband wanting me for any other reason. It's like anytime you marry someone or anytime like someone from the Western world is with someone foreign and they're not like super like conventionally hot, there's got to be a motive, you know? <laughs> it's like, it's so crazy. And meanwhile, the people accusing that are sitting there with fake boyfriends or not any at all. Yeah, thanks, Cynthia. You can't jump? Come jump. I don't know if she can jump or not. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Oh. Oh. Hi. Here. Here. Eat your crunchies. Come here. Mm. Mm. You stink. You're old and you smell. You don't need me. Okay, over here, sweetie. Yes. Say hi to the people. <laughs> Sweet. <clears throat> Manly belly dancing? No. I don't think so. I don't give a crap about the lizard doo-doo or her mother. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I just don't even want to hear about them, you know. So that's why it's like, really, really, when you see people accusing you of like, I, I don't understand. Like, you see how in love I am with Sala. Like, I don't know if these people would be do that or something, but I don't know. We love you, but we don't want you to suffer, yeah. So we'll see. I'm bringing her to the vet. Hand-colored clothing. Yes, I love this color of pink. I love it. <laughs> There's many things that are this color, not just ham. Ham is just a stupid fat joke coming from a fat person. <laughs> okay, so that was it, the TikTok lady. So yeah, it was super exciting to see somebody else. So I followed that person because it's like, I like people with similar stories, you know, like somebody moving to another country to, you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. People saying he's great. Like, okay, somebody who completely threw away an, a friendship, but they love this person. They like this person so much. They're willing to throw away the friendship for just, uh, just around 4K subscribers and... A few bucks. So my daughter is 11 and I found her letter to her crush. Do you like me? Check yes or no note. No way. I used to send those, yeah. As a kid, yeah. I used to get my friends too. <laughs> oh, that's so cute, Tavy. The answer was usually no. <laughs> Just because you can't eat ham doesn't mean you can't wear it. What's for dinner? I'm not sure. I was thinking maybe McDonald's. I think McDonald's is halal here, by the way. It says McDonald's on the website. 
comply with halal stuff. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if I feel like cooking again. I address when we will get a Shannon story time. What kind of story time? I dress French fried cigarette playing Hagrid in the new Harry Potter. <laughs> Cigarettes. Sweet angel of all the degrees. Ew. Aries sister. My birthday is right in the middle of Ramadan. Babe. He's probably playing his game. Are we going to do something for my birthday? Akid. That's what he would say. Akid. Whenever I hear him say that word, I know everything is going to be okay. Akid. Like, of course. <laughs> we have to do something. Lazim. Means must. We must do something. Sweetie, your breast smells like whiskey. Let's get out of here. A key shirt. <laughs> ah, a key. Love it, be the deli, I'll be Ryanic, man. Wash the feet. Stan, you hate my Arabic singing. <laughs> hey, sweetie. So yeah, I'm just spending a lot of time with her and making her happy. Are you happy that he's gone? You are. I knew you always waited for this. Oh, they're halal? Yes! But they have bacon products. So I guess they cook the bacon separate. I met my fiance abroad as well. They say the same thing about fat men getting beautiful foreign women. You're right. Oh, it's just for the money. I'm driving back home now, baby. I will be with you, but can't type. Okay, baby. <laughs> See you later. Talk to you later. Mm. So, are you guys watching the new... 90 Day Fiance, um, The Other Way. There is also something that made me feel better. Babe, if you're listening, did he say he was listening? Okay. So, yes, there is... Oh, good, Mary. Thank you. There is... Oh, I don't ever want to lose you. Do you think I could bring her to Kuwait? No, that would be cruel. Don't be cruel to a heart that's true. <laughs> Don't want to live your life. There's a couple on there. Are you whispering chicken? Are you whispering chicken? Aww. Bye, baby. See you later. <laughs> I think Timbit was 16 when she passed. So there's this new couple. There's this couple, like Debbie and Usama. Where was Usama from? I think he's from Morocco. Um, And she's in her 60s and he's 24. So, babe, she's in her 60s and he's 24. So, we sh we shall not feel bad about our age difference. Aries here also, April 16th. When is yours? Mine is March 28th. Do her peeps peep smell like Cheetos? B. She's so weird. B. Okay, it's been over an hour. So I said what I have to say. I honestly don't like, I'm like, I'm not going to address drama. I'm not going to address drama. And then I end up like addressing things, but. EastEnders? Oh, pause. Her peeps. No. Oh, well, maybe they smell like Fritos. I don't know. I have no makeup on. Look at my eyes, how little and squinty they look. <laughs> oh. I want fake eyelashes, but they're hung on. <laughs> so I'm trying to be more modest about my makeup. I'm trying to just do really good skincare. 
and I'm ordering some vital protein, some uh, collagen, collagen peptides. Why only an hour now? Just like an hour, to, because Mary, like, I have to force myself to do things other than just talk all day. You know what I mean? Like, I have to do, I have, I have things to do, and then halal collagen. Oh my god, Phil. I don't know. You're right. I have to check that. No, I, I probably wouldn't be halal unless it's specified. So I'm going to look up halal collagen. You're right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I forget because it is an animal product. B. I can feel her like bones. You're so old. You're so frail. Hmm. Sit. Sit, sweetest angels. Sit. Cats love to just walk in front of the camera, always. <laughs> so yeah. So I kind of want to watch that new series because, I don't know, the age gap is interesting. I mean, 60s and 24. I mean, what, like, 24 is so young. <laughs> like... I don't know. I don't think I could ever if I was in my 60s. That would be so crazy. What about you guys? Skincare products, yeah. In fact, the collagen is actually a byproduct of the fish ensuring less waste. So their absolute collagen is suitable for pescatarians and those following a halal diet. Oh. Oh. Really? Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Oh my gosh, there's too many confusing things. Sweet! B. It's already hello. Oh. I'll have to look it up though, just to be sure. I could never do it. <laughs> yeah, that's so like, the age difference is so much, you know? My daughter's in March. She will be 10. She's a natural beezer already, so she could... Oh, the 20th. So she's 20th of March, so she's Pisces. Like, just on the cusp. We could all birthday bees together, Gina. Yeah, that would be cool. No F way I could ever date a guy my son's age. <laughs> P and V. <laughs> I dated a 68-year-old woman when I was 24. What? No, you didn't. Did you really? Nothing wrong with that. Hey. Oh. My love is 10 years older than me. Really? Yeah. That's like Sala and I, kind of. You freaking senior citizen. See how her ears shake a little bit? You're weird. Why do you do this? Um, <laughs> crispy dates, crispy dates, tea and sass confirmed. Bald spot, Missy, I know, look at it. It's got age spots on it. You're like Mr. Burns. Yes. <laughs> okay. You've always dated older. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go for now. And uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side. I might see you guys later tonight, okay? We'll see. And if you don't, I'm still at home. Or anywhere except you know where. Like, I am <laughs> might be spending it with my actual real husband. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you later. Bye, Beezers. Bye.